fintech, crypto, these are all big industries that are changing our lives and becoming bigger day by day by the market cap. With me here today, I have one of the biggest players in the cryptocurrency industry and of course, another big player in the fintech industry in Africa. Well, let's welcome our business leader of the week, Munachi. Munachi, how are you doing? I'm good, man. How are you? Fine. Uh, Munachi has many profiles, so I don't know which one I'm going to use. Um, trader, crypto trader, uh, CEO, one liquidity. That's the latest. Or should I say uh, crypto investor and all that and all that. Well, before we continue, we're, we're, going to have, we're going to have a very interesting conversation with Munachi, especially with his latest invention and product that is in the market. Before we do that, I'd like us to go on a quick short break. And when we come back, we'll dive in deep into the world of fintech, crypto, and more. Hi guys, I am Uzwa Maka Onoha, and I'm here to tell you that everything crypto happens on OBX. Trade, send, receive crypto easily on OBX. Bye guys. Welcome back to Business Leader of the Week. Of course, I have your my friend Munachi. Uh, the last time we, the first time we, the, the first launch we had for Daba Studios, Munachi was my second guest. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, uh, so this is not the first time uh, Munachi is coming to Daba TV, but this time he's coming with an Asake energy. <laughs> <laughs> this time is already big and it's bigger. 2021 was a good year for us in crypto. Yes, very good. And um, I know we did a lot of stuffs, launched products, um, and yeah. of course also made profits. We talked yeah. about crypto the last time. How has crypto been for you in 2022? Uh, I think, like I said, the kings are made in, in times of now. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, so I think it's time for anybody that is really in the space to really put his mark in. Mm. And the real people who are like going to build sustainable businesses, mm. this is the time that would actually show whether you have the, the method in you to actually build a sustainable business. So we have seen a lot of businesses fold up, you mm. know, and at the end of the day, you know, we all have to go back to first principles. You know, we have to ensure that our business is actually a business rather mm. than just a speculative idea. You know? So yes, so 2022 has been a testing year. It has been a strong... Yeah, you know, we have had to redefine everything we knew about crypto, mm. how we've built the industry, mm. and, you know, we're coming back to first principles again. Interesting. And so, um, the last time, some, some, some months ago, I saw you launched a big platform, uh, yeah. One Liquidity. Yeah. So, Munachi, you are the co-founder and the CEO of One Liquidity. Yeah. Of course, I probably I, I, I'm I'm a, I'm a client to One Liquidity, but I want my audience to understand and yeah. those who are watching, what exactly is One Liquidity? Okay, so One Liquidity is technology and infrastructure as a service. Mm. You know, technology and liquidity as a service. What we want to provide you is the ability to build your platform at on a low cost basis. We want to fund or reduce the cost of innovation. And we want to give access to fintechs, businesses, and anyone that is really building or innovating in the space to really have access to low technology tools, low technology costs, and accelerate your liquidity or increase your liquidity pool. You know? So what we do is we work with different partners around the world mm. to be able to create a platform that is low cost, you know, mm -hmm. enable you, like for instance, you're building a FinTech product, mm -hmm. you know, you need access to technology, you need access to say compliance, say disbursement, payout, all mm -hmm. these FinTech instruments, mm -hmm. or you need access to float credit, mm -hmm. trading, you know, we give you all these things on a platter to enable you scale your product faster. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So, uh, this is like an all-in-one technology yes. hub. It's a marketplace. It's, a, it's literally a marketplace for you to build. Interesting. So let me. Is this limited to fintech? Not necessarily. It's not. It's not. It, we we need to understand that fintech costs are across almost all sectors of mm. life. You know, mm. we all need to spend money. You know, mm -hmm. crypto is basically fintech. Mm -hmm. You know, and 
what we, the, the, the main people we work with are fintechs and crypto companies because of, we are just starting now, so we need to focus on our core mm. strengths, mm. you know. So, but yeah, we work with a lot of people. We work with people in commodities. Mm. We work with people in oil companies. Mm. We work with people in uh, manufacturing. Mm. You know, we do, we, our product cuts across different verticals, you know, and we are able to serve these customers, hedge funds like you guys, and, you know, we provide other services. So tell us so far, um, you founded One Liquidity 2022 or 2021? 2022. 2022. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so, and how has the journey been so far building One Liquidity? So it has been great, you know, and uh, it's, it's literally leveraging on all the experience I have in my almost eight years in tech and crypto now. You know, mm -hmm. I got into tech sometime in 2014. You know, I've built like maybe three, four startups mm -hmm. across the way, successful startups by the grace of God. You know, so for me, I've taken everything I've known everything I've built, every experience I've had, every failure I've had, and I've packaged it into a simple product that mm. helps people avoid the mistakes I made. So it's basically just my experience, you know, and my the ideologies that we have, or the ideologies that have worked in the space, you know, we packaged everything and brought it into a packaged product, which is one liquidity today, you know. If... Um if someone who is just watching keeps saying you, you've mentioned something like uh, uh one liquidity is the all in place yes or you want to get access to credit yeah, yeah, yeah now something is confusing for me you mentioned something like technology yes you're saying if i want to build an application yes uh maybe a fintech app or something in commodity yeah and all that that i can come to one liquidity yeah and technology provided for me? Okay, so this is the way it works. You know, first of all, everything we build is a combination of different things. Mm. You know, as a human being, so you're a combination of different parts. Mm. You know, so first thing about one liquidity is that all our products are modular. They are like Lego bricks. You know, when we we're small, they buy all these Lego bricks that we use to make cars, mm -hmm. we use them to make mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. trailer and all those Exactly. Things. So every technology tool, the way we design it, we make it like a brick that mm. is interpretable with different parts of the system. Mm. Now, and if we think about technology on a broad scale, you know, technology is is quite uh, ubiquitous across the board. Like, for instance, people think that there's a big difference between what, let's say, a yellow card is doing and what Providence Bank is doing. Mm. They're literally doing the same thing. Mm. You know, if you think about the four corners of what technology is or what technology infrastructure that those two people use, let's think, first things first, each of them have to collect, each of them have to store and exchange value. Mm. So whether it's Providence Bank or it's Yellow Card mm. or maybe any other crypto app, they mm. do basically that. Mm. They help you store mm -hmm. and exchange value. Mm. Another thing is they, 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 they help you uh, um, collect and disburse value. So whether it's Providos or it's Yellow Card, they do exactly that same thing. Mm. Another thing is, for both of them, they still they need to do compliance. They need to check and verify that everybody that is coming into the platform, platform has some form of credibility or some form of record, or they have records of the person. These mm. are technology tools. Mm. Both of them do it exactly the same thing. Mm. You understand? And both of them need to scale to different countries. All of them want to add new product lines. You see, this one is adding virtual cards. This one is adding, both of them are adding virtual cards. Both of them are adding utilities. You understand? So those are technology products. Mm. The problem is many people think that because of you're a crypto company and you're a fintech company or a banking company, you are doing different thing. everybody is doing literally the same, same thing. thing what we have come to realize is that if everybody is literally doing almost the same thing you understand the difference is like maybe 10 percent mm. you understand and just depends on the flavor you are you can mm. say i'm a i'm a fintech mm. so i just want to focus on fintech mm. or i just want to focus on financial products that have no interact interact uh, interoperability with crypto mm. then it's fine it's just the flavor you have you know mm. so some people have crypto flavor some people have uh, combined flavor, so people have uh, just banking flavor, you understand? So for us, what we have done is we are trying to solve the 80% problem. And by the 80% problem is what are those things that are synonymous across the ecosystem? Mm. You understand? Collections, storage, compliance, product lines, mm. expansion, mm. all these technology bits and pieces that are that are useful across the board. What we have done is we have packaged it into modular blocks. You understand? For instance, we have a we have a compliance as a service product. Mm. Now the difference between our compliance as a service product and the compliance as a service you get other way is that we have a deeper understanding of what most people need. You understand? A typical compliance as a service product is is diverse across the board. You understand? People that do crypto 
have a certain specification that they need. You understand? People that do fintech may have a lesser specification. In fact, crypto specifications are usually higher oh, yeah, yeah. because they need to do KYC, KYB, KYT. Mm. They need to do on, uh, ongoing wallet monitoring. They need to do all those things. We understand because we have built fintech products, we have built crypto products. We have built a single block of technology that assimilates all these different parts. So you now, if you wanted to build your own fintech, uh, let's say you wanted to build your own compliance product, you would have to integrate maybe a, a service that lets you uh, do, KYC. do not just KYC, maybe do BVN checks, mm. do uh, maybe a wallet, uh, sorry, a passport verification. Mm. You need to ping government database. Mm. You need to do email verification. You need to do phone number verification. These are different services that do all those things. What we have done is we have done everything, everything into one. In one. A single bulk of And I can compliance. get that as a service on one liquidity. As a single service. Rather than you going to integrate six other other APIs to get the same thing, to build a compliance tool. And we have taken it a bit further. You know, If you are doing crypto now, we have integrated ongoing wallet monitoring, wallet scans. Hmm. So you don't need to go and build out all those things. And the amazing thing about one liquidity is not just about our technology process. It's also our business model. Hmm. You know, the idea of one liquidity is to reduce the cost of innovation. Hmm. Remember, if you're going to do this compliance as a thing, you know, you're going to pay a lot. First of all, you're going to pre-fund all these different positions. Maybe whoever service provider you want to use, yes. you need to pay on a pre-funded basis. Either you pay them in one single bulk mm. or you pay them after you use the product. The problem is you're just a starting startup. You really have maybe little money or you have never raised capital. You understand? The cost of doing compliance, which is an absolute necessity, is too high. So we see a lot of people cutting corners mm. to do compliance or have like less than optimal compliance mm. like uh, processes. What we have done is built a business model that scales your business. You understand? It's an on-demand service. You know, so you only pay when you use the product. So that way, you don't need to tie down capital with different service mm. providers. You know, and it's a very big problem because when we're building, when I was building some of my startups, you know, we just raised maybe ten thousand dollars, twenty thousand dollars. You know, compliance is twenty thousand dollars. Imagine. We can't really do proper compliance on our on our customers because the cost of compliance is high. Mm. You know, it's cost of technology. And let's think about leave compliance. Let's think about wallet services. It's very expensive to roll out a proper wallet service for your business and. The wallet services in the space are night and day. It's either it's over optimized mm. or it's under optimized. You understand? What we have brought is, um, is a healthy balance between both worlds. You understand? That is at low cost, helps you scale. The idea is for you to be able to innovate, build new products, think of our ideas, and not be weighed down by the cost of innovation. Because this space, where we are in Africa, you know, there's not, we are not getting as much innovation as we want because, first of all, there's no capital, there's no funding. Mm. You understand? We don't even have a capital market. So, mm. investors, foreign investors are really scared. Mm. There's security issues. How do, you, how do they present the, fund of their, the value of their investment? You understand? Is Naira again the devaluation, mm. the inflation? You know, all these are issues. You understand? So, we need to be self sustaining as innovators in this space. As entrepreneurs in this space, we need to be able to build business businesses that are actually businesses that can bring revenue. And by doing that, we need to reduce our cost. Cost of innovation. You understand? And that is why one liquidity is all about reducing cost of innovation, helping you. Once you you know, when we are children, we are more innovative. <laughs> they give us all this book. We always want to try new things. We are breaking down. We are yes. building. We are building sandcastles. But, we... but as we get older, we now start thinking, ah, this is expensive. It's an expensive gamble. Mm. You understand? That, that you, you know, the West is where it is today because of... Experiments. The, yeah, experiments. You know, Innovation. industrial. They are industrial. This thing complex. You understand? Yeah. The technology. Technology is an, is, a, is an accelerator for growth. Yes. The more technology, uh, technologically advanced... A society is the more likely it is going to be a superpower you understand yeah. you know africa we have lagged so much because of we are a net importer of technology mm. there is no innovation happening here and one of the biggest issues with innovation is because of the cost of innovation you understand one liquidity is all about reducing that cost of innovation you know? and so uh that means this is like an answered prayer for new companies, yeah. startups, uh, those in the technology space, crypto, fintech, and all. Uh, before we continue, Munachi, 
let me let me let me let me get a a scenario now. I want to ask this question now. Yeah. Does it mean that if I'm to subscribe to one liquidity now, mm -hmm. okay, as a business person, okay, and uh, am I being charged on a subscription based or like or I just wait till my service is used, then there's this type of charge they give to me. Okay, so for us really, we what we try to do is we optimize for the different business case. You mm -hmm. know, we actually are a bespoke shop. You understand? First of all, different businesses do different things. So they, they, they process value in different ways. Mm. You understand? But there's usually a common denominator. Mm. You understand? So for us, the the main way we, we charge or we make money is through is on demand. That's actually where I was going to. Yeah, it's on demand. How do you make the money? When you make a transaction, mm. you understand? It's the costs are associated with that transaction rather mm. than preloaded or mm. postloaded. Mm. You understand? So, so as the as the company or the service uses your platform, yes, the little charge is go goes and you with see it, you see it, so mm. you know you have already documented that cost into mm. your own business. You understand? Interesting. So it is not it's not going to tie you down your the little money you have. You just know that if I'm buying, if I'm uh, if I'm uh, if I'm selling A, mm. my cost of selling A is B, mm. so that my profit is C. Mm. So it gives you a scalable way to grow. Do you understand? Interesting. We'll go on a short break and when we come back, uh, we'll continue this session. And then, um, if you want to visit One Liquidity, just go to oneliquidity.com and you can see. When we come back, we're going to go deeper because uh, if you're a business person watching this, share this video with your friends, with your partners, with everyone. This is one stop innovation that has come at a time like this and it's not something you want to miss. Let's find a way how you can do business with One Liquidity. I'll be right back. People say crypto is too volatile, but they forget the volatility can make you rich. People keep asking how they can make money with cryptos and the old NFT and metaverse thing. But the truth is that if you don't get proper education and guide, you continue to lose money if not done properly every day by day. You see, I started buying Bitcoin at $600 in 2016 and my first Ethereum at less than $30 in 2017. And what has helped me over time in winning this market is study, learning, research, ability to make quality decisions, mastering how to take profits and how to minimize the losses. In crypto trading and investments, you can make money fast and you can lose money faster. What we've done at Daba with the Trade and Make Money course is that we have created a program and a community that is helping people make money and profit from the crypto market. In this course, I have shared valuable and practical lessons that can help anyone learn how to analyze the market, do technical analysis, spot profitable trades, use simple tools to analyze the market. See, in 2016, I got Bitcoin at $600. In 2017, I got a tariff for less than $30. In 2020, during the COVID market crash, I told people to keep buying Bitcoin and Ethereum. In 2021, I shared in our various scenarios that people should buy AXS at $0.7. And it went as high as $150 plus in one year. In short, we have made a lot of people millionaires from this course and our crypto community and you could be next. You see, in 2021, we made big profits on some NFTs and metaverse tokens. There are many sectors in crypto that, that, that will continue to perform big this year, from Bitcoin to Ethereum to DeFi to layer NFTs one. and layer one and layer two solutions. Then we start talking about the metaverse, fan gaming, tokens, fan tokens, polka dots, and, 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 and more ecosystems. Yeah. So with this course and our signal room, will guide you on how to make money from these various crypto ecosystems by showing you when to buy and take profit. You see, a lot of people think they can just come into crypto like that with no knowledge, no skill. And, but if you are going to be a profitable trader and investor, please learn. 
be ready to engage in continuous learning and be patient. You know, I, I remember, I remember when you when we said this one that when, when crypto market dips, yeah. sometimes it feels like it's never gonna rise. Yes. And when it and when it forms, sometimes it feels like it never going you know, to dip. dip. So yes. if you understand this and know how it works, you can make profits on the market. Crypto has given me financial freedom. <laughs> crypto has changed my life. Are you ready to learn? Are you hungry enough? Are you also patient to see results? Are you willing to take the risk? Are you looking for how to make more money trading and investing in crypto? Then come learn from us. We want to help you win and become a profitable trader and investor. Join us. My name is Chris Annie. And I am Nolan Amadi. Visit www.daba.school. Get the trade and make money course to learn crypto trading and, and invest. invest. All right, welcome back. Uh, this is Business Leader of the Week, my friend Munachi. Uh, is a crypto entrepreneur, is playing big in the fintech industry. And of course, with his latest release, One Liquidity, uh, this is something everyone in the business industry, fintech, crypto should actually look out for, okay? And of course, we said if you want to be part of it, visit onelikwidity.com. So Munachi, tell us more about why did you build One Liquidity? What exactly is the driving passion behind building One Liquidity? Because okay. you can't just wake up one day when everybody's building one fintech app, everybody's building the next exchange, people are building uh, buy and sell, and the next thing you came up with One Liquidity. What's the driving passion? What's driving you for this? Okay, so um, I think when I was in, uh, I've always been someone with a lot of ideas, mm. you know, and there's a lot of problems to be solved in Africa. Mm. You know, so there are 1,001 ideas that I will work ago. The problem is, every time I think of an idea, I just think about, ah, this is too expensive to solve. Mm. So I thought that the biggest thing that we need to solve is we need to find an alternative to capital. Mm. And by finding an alternative to capital, we need to find a platform that helps businesses to innovate. Mm to help businesses build new ideas and be able to be self-sustaining rather than wait for investors to come in, you understand? Mm, mm. You know, and if we think about where Africans, we come from, we are a people that are so entrepreneurial. We believe in our own means, you mm. understand? From our forefathers, from the farming operations they have, you know, they have always, and down to the, uh, I don't, they call it boy-boy system, you understand? We you have always system. apprentice system is we have always been an entrepreneurial people, you understand? And you know, when ex extending that to technology, we have we have tried, there's been a lot of products, but mm. one thing we have not seen like super products. You know, so there's very few that have succeeded mm. compared to the multitude. The problem is a lot of these people, a lot of these businesses are tied down by the cost, the scaling potential. And the market, you know. So what we I decided to do is like let me put all my ideas I have in a bit, keep them. Why not I focus on building, taking the experiences I've had in building all these different uh, businesses and mm. create a platform first mm. Mm. that me too I can even innovate. You know, there are some of a lot of ideas I have now that I can easily scale, build because with one liquidity, liquidity. You understand? So I'm not going to be tied down by the cost of innovation, the the cost of technic technology because. Mm. Also, the technical debt experience with different engineers. I don't need 20 engineers anymore. I just mm. need maybe one or two. Because mm. everything to build, the technology blocks to build are already in built place. Mm. in place. All you need to do is couple it the right way. You understand? And you have a working product. You understand? So I decided to solve this, this platform problem first. Because I don't feel like there's a springboard platform mm. for businesses to grow. Mm. You know? So that's why I decided to do one liquidity. You know? Interesting. Munachi, let's talk about the numbers. Yes. Let's talk about your clients. Let's talk about yeah. the things, the records that One Liquidity has done. Okay. So let's go. Yeah. So, so share with us. Share with us. Let us. Let so, us. So um, we are super integrated into in the space, and mm. uh, there's a lot of businesses that we already currently work with. And based on my experience in the space, I've been in fintech or technology for about eight years now. Mm. So I know a lot of people, and I know a lot of problems that people need to be solved, you understand? Flows, uh, uh, 
capital, capital injection, credits. credit, and all that. Those are very big issues, you mm. know. So, so this year we have processed for we have pro total process value is about three billion dollars. Wow. I think about four billion now. Wow. You know, there's a lot of businesses integrated into us directly. Mm. You understand? There's a lot of value we push, you know, mm. through our rails. You know, there's a lot of value we collect. There's a lot of value we disburse. There's a lot of exchange we do. You mm. understand? We push a lot of volume. You understand? Mm. We have executed almost one million trades. Wow. About a one more than one million trades you know and every month we do about 10 million dollars in credit loans and wow. floats you know so it's a massive operation that we have you know, wow. and we're trying to maintain it you know let's go for more you know so uh we are a single access you know so what we have done is we have built a business that's integrated into many businesses mm. you know so, so one liquidity if you think about it is a pipeline company mm. you understand think about it as a pipeline company you understand we Everything are plumbed through you. we are plumbed into everything you know now we are we have like four other book exchanges integrated into us we have multiple product lines the product lines that we have that i've never launched hmm. you understand we have fx dexes plugged into us we have crypto market makers we have compliance engines we have payment gateways we have technology infrastructures plugged directly into us you know so these are some of the the things that we run this is like a carousel of different product lines so there's deepest liquid uh, collection and global payments, crypto yeah. for business, yeah. trade and settle crypto, yeah. gift cards, mm -hmm. airtime, mm -hmm. trade via API and yeah. wow, crypto wallets and transactions. So yeah, yeah. So we, we run a, a full suit of... I mean, I am I coming to get at least 1% of <laughs> only <one deposit? laughs> Uh, no, so these are so what we have done is we have also packaged our product in uh, different business suites. So liquidity mm -hmm. as a service is liquidity as a service is is a is a business suite that we have. So can you scroll up? Scroll up. Yeah. Yes. So it's for this suit. What most people do with this suit is they enable people. Mm. This enables people to do trade settlements, global trade settlements. Mm. You know, people have suppliers in Nigeria. They want to pay their suppliers in. China, in the Different US, you know, so they are plugged into this suit. You mm. know. We use our rails to facilitate those transactions, you know. Mm. We do that through APIs, we do that through charts, you know. Mm. We have different businesses that are integrated into different products using using us, you know. So and we help settlements can happen within twenty currencies yeah. in over eighty countries. Exactly, yeah. This is good. As so a fintech, as I said before, this we we help businesses to do maybe virtual cards. Mm. Uh, integrate and it's not just about how the integrating the technology is also managing floats enabling them because sometimes pre-funding is a big problem mm. you know, so let's say you have a thousand customers you know and there's a certain sp spike you know first of all if you are using if you are using it by yourself if you create the account by yourself you need to pre-fund all those positions mm. you understand so you need to put like whoever your virtual card provider is you need to fund the position so when your customers are using the service that they are they are, they are basically running down your position with the with the supplier of the service or the virtual card owner yes so at some point you get you may have float issues where there's a transaction that your customer wants to do but you don't really have enough money, money with that to provider money. to facilitate that transaction mm. so we help businesses in those float mm. regions we help a lot of fintechs that are doing third-party integrations into different services wow. and if I, if a business are doing a third-party integration you know, into any business. Let's talk. You know, we help a lot of we help a lot of business with the float so that you can keep processing transactions without mm. having to go on downtime where you have to pre top up your account and Before all that. Interesting. You understand? So interesting. Like I said, so fintech, we do virtual cards, we do collections, we do disbursements. You and know? then there's on wrap and off ramp payments. Okay, okay, interesting. All right. Are we still going? Yeah. There's still so compliance and service this is a full suit. This is a full suit compliance service. Crypto, KYC, KYB integrations, any form of payments we do with uh, passports in across maybe sixteen countries. You know, so trading as a service. These are these are smart. These are can you come down a bit? Come down, please. These are smart routing engine. What this does is it takes your trades and helps you execute those trades at the deepest liquidity spot and also at the best pricing. It scans all the exchanges that we are integrated into. Wow. So once you push a trade, instead of you to just integrate or maybe just one, maybe Binance or this mm. thing, we route it to the best priced put, uh, location and also helps with slippage. Understand? Sometimes you want to trade a million dollars at a certain price, but because of there's no liquidity at that point, the trade will execute at a lower price. Mm. 
it's called sleeping. It's a very yeah. expensive cost. Yes. You know, so a lot of uh, hedge funds and business, and I'm sure you're aware of this, you know, so they use the, the route trees through us so that they are able to execute at a better price and at the price they pick rather than be waste money on split slippages. And, and we also give them best pricing across the board. Wow. And if you're a business that you're doing uh, some form of exchange business, you run maybe a crypto startup that you're doing some form of swaps, mm. whatever the case may be, whether you're changing from crypto to dollars or dollar, whatever the case may be, you know, we provide that through API as well so that you're able to integrate into, into our solution and roll that out to your customers. You know, real quick, so at best pricing, we also give we give credit for that, so that you're able to start executing even before you have like a funded position, and we enable you to scale that, scale your trading operations infinitely. Interesting. Yeah. So crypto as a service, these are these are these are. Let's see crypto as a service, please. So these are condensed crypto service business. What it this helps you do is build out payment collections through crypto, you are building a crypto exchange or you want to start building a crypto exchange, you want, to, you want wallets for your businesses or you're an OTC trader, you want to give different customers different wallets so that you, you can also uh, no, programmatically yeah. know who sent you funds and all that thing. Everything is integrated into this, mm. with this uh, crypto suit. All you need to do is deploy it. It gives you access to unlimited wallets. You understand? You can generate unlimited wallets. If you want to do it by one transaction, you can do it. If you want to move, uh, you want to create new tokens, we're working on helping people to create new tokens, mm. gated, NFT gated communities, everything is going to be integrated wow. to the suit. You understand? So yeah, it's the, it's the full, like I said, it's wow. taking all the experiences, all wow. the costs, all the big costs and is it one, condensing one, it into, one, is it, this it's is one liquidity, it's one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You know, oh, now I now I see now I see the concept behind the name. Yes, exactly. one liquidity. Yeah, because I was actually going to say this is like a one-stop shop exactly. for everything, and everything is run by liquidity. Every, That's true. Everything is run by you. everything <laughs> rises. It's all on liquidity. It's all liquidity. You can't stay in said. business if you don't you have, have the liquidity. And liquidity is money. You know? Yes. 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 I need to be liquid. yes. 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 So, Wow, this is like this is like a big yeah. It's everything you need to build crypto fintech. So if you want to start, yeah. what do you do now? You just simply go on. Uh, you hit us up. So we have on the end of the page. There's a. You hit us up. We do. We have. We like to have a chat first. Okay. We want to understand what you're building. Okay. Then we can advise and say, okay, you can build it through this. You can use this, this, and this. Okay. So one liquidity.com. Yes. Then you scroll down. You're going to see. Uh, contact us and okay. all that. It's easy. it's easy. You can reach out to me. You can reach out to anybody. All right. So, yeah. Munachi, entrepreneurship, this is this is actually fascinating. Yeah. Building four startups, coming up with all the solutions now on one liquidity. As an entrepreneur, what's, what is this whole journey like for you? Is it just bliss and bliss and bliss and or you're just like, let me just experiment, experiment. So what's, what's this whole journey been like for you eight years down the line now? Okay, so I, I think I'll say this. Um, I came from humble backgrounds, you know, and I've always had the fear of poverty. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so that fear has really driven me to want to build mm. you understand because the only way to eat is if you walk that's why they call it walk chop <laughs> <laughs> you need to be able to walk and that's when you'll be able to eat you understand so i've always wanted to build things mm. and i've but more more importantly i've always wanted to give mm. you understand giving is an essential part of getting you understand you can't really get if you don't give you understand so i've, I've always tried to give a little bit more you understand? Mm. And every time I achieve, I give a little bit more so I can achieve more, you understand? Mm. Because it's a continuous process, mm. you understand? So entrepreneurship is not an easy thing, to be honest. And maybe if, if I was going to come to this world again, I don't know whether I want to be an entrepreneur. <laughs> I think I just want to be a trust fund kid. <laughs> you know, but I think the experience of building is something that is exciting, mm. you know, the failures, the sleepless mm. nights, mm. you know, every time I wake up, I'm checking my emails, mm. you know, start the lo lots of disappointments that we have had, mm. you know, a lot of people have turned us down, a lot of issues have come, 
you know, there's nothing I've not really seen. You understand? In these eight years, you understand? A lot of failures, a lot of people that have given money, they'll run away. You know what I'm there's the whole, the whole thing, you understand? But what keeps me up and what makes me happy is when I see something that I've helped build, you know, when you see that structure that you've set, you know, it gives you a more than life feeling because you know that you are building something that people are getting joy from, mm -hmm. you know. Hmm. You're building something that people are benefiting from. You're building something that people are happy to use. It makes people's life a little better. Hmm. You know, so that keeps pushing you to want to do more. That's interesting to note. Uh, we'll go on this final short break. And um, for those of you watching, I want you to, because we're going to do, we're going to have this, um, uh, I used to do guy prize giveaway. So for those of you watching on YouTube, let us share three things you've learned so far with this conversation we'll go back we'll go on this final short break and we'll come back we have some tricky tricky questions from Munachi. <laughs> if he doesn't answer it <laughs> i'm going on with one bitcoin <laughs> we'll be right back amen have you heard of bitcoin yes i have i mean bitcoin is everywhere i don't hear him now i'm not bitcoin boom in here go momo we pay a motor that's a really computer and want a bore phone that if you do more. Have you heard of OBX? OBS. Mm -mm. I don't hear him. Here, this is our app. Try buying Bitcoin. Okay. That would be nice. Thank you. That's the app so fine. I just got my first Bitcoin from OBX. No, 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 no. I don't buy hundred dollars. Call me so easy. Experience crypto with ease. Download the OBX app now. But you're at only one hundred dollar. Hey! Welcome back to Business Leader of the Week. Munachi is here on set, and while you guys were on break, Munachi whispered something in my ear. <laughs> and in short, I, I, this is not. It's not going to still change my mind on the one Bitcoin I want to collect. But if you are watching this video. I want to beg you, share this video with a business person, an entrepreneur, somebody who is building a fintech application, any OTC trader you know in the crypto, in the, in the crypto industry, any trader you know in crypto, any business leader that is building something in fintech, share this video with them, let them watch it. And yes, the reason why you should do so. I want liquidity just announced that anyone coming through Daba Studio. So if you go to OneLiquidity.com and you need their services, okay, uh, just mention Daba Studios. That's all you need, okay? And they will provide their services for you free till the end of the year. So don't say I've not done something for you in 2022, okay? Don't say I've not done something for you. <laughs> the promo code for this is Daba Studios. Now you see why you should be watching Daba TV. I've had several people who have been here and have been giving different, different promo codes, different um, giveaways and all that, okay? Yeah. And for those of you who are going to share with us three things you've learned so far, tell us about One Liquidity, tell us what you've learned in this show with Munachi. Of course, I'm going to select in the comment section and then um, pick my winners. All right, uh, before we even put this show to an end, Munachi, what advice do you have for young entrepreneurs who are coming up? We are still young, not like we're old. Yeah. But the ones who are still coming up, what advice do you have for them? The biggest thing for entrepreneurs is ensure you're building a business mm. and not a hobby. Mm. A lot of things I've seen uh, is a lot of people building out hobbies, you understand? And it's fine, you know. It's good when your business is a hobby because mm. it's easier for you. Mm. You can wake up and you can do it every day. Mm. Good thing, one liquidity is my hobby too. So it's, it's, and it's, it's a sustainable business. Mm. You know, so when you want to build a business, ensure that you have a business case. Mm. You are able to, and what is a business case? A business case is you are able to create value and you are able to retain value. You can't be a highway. You need to be able to give and also receive. Mm. You understand? And anything you give, it should be valuable to the next person. Mm. You understand? We use Amazon today to do, uh, to do, online, uh, to do online shopping. 
the value there is that we don't need to go into the shop. So we are paying a little bit more or their business model makes them charge someone a little bit more. So they're able to create value mm. and retain value. Mm. If your business is not able to do that, then you just realize that you actually have a hobby. Mm. Yes, and you, a lot of people have confused businesses with hobbies. You understand? So that's one thing. And two, you also need to be, you need to realize that your business can fail as well. Mm. It's also very, very important, you know, and that should be a driving force for you to ensure that it doesn't fail. As mm. long as it's a sustainable business, you can't give up on it, you understand, unless it's obvious that this can't work. But at the end of the day, you need to push it till the end, you understand, and don't give up, you know. There's a lot of times that we have had issues with businesses, uh, with our business, you know, but we didn't give up, mm. you understand. And the third very, very important thing is you need people. You need, and you don't, don't just staff. You need to talk to people. You need people by your side. Mm. You understand? Your friends, everybody that you meet, be obsessed with your business. Mm. Tell everybody about it. You understand? Mm. Force them to use it. Mm. You understand? That is the only way you can succeed. You understand? And don't be scared to sell yourself. Okay. It's what you're. It's where you're benefiting from. So don't be scared to sell yourself. You understand? Just, that. If you are to talk to your younger self, yeah. Right, <laughs> What would you go back to How do? much, how much <laughs> younger self? <laughs> <laughs> let's say the guy who was starting 10 years ago. Okay, let's say the guy who was starting, what, what? I would have you... told him to buy Bitcoin, man. <laughs> <laughs> Sell everything, I buy Bitcoin. <laughs> In hindsight. <laughs> Seriously, because yeah. you were just getting started. And yeah. this is, the, this is 2022 Munachi. I want to talk to the moon of 2010, 11, 12. Yeah. I think the most important thing I'll tell myself is, like, you're on the right path. Mm. You understand? There's a lot of things that still, there's a lot of issues you're going to have. Mm. But don't let that derail you from your path. You understand? Mm. I think you're on the right path. Keep pushing. Meet more people. Talk to more people. Mm. Don't be scared. You understand? Don't, don't believe in yourself. Mm. You understand? And believe in your own means. You know, and don't undersell yourself mm. to whoever you are dealing with. Never undersell yourself. Mm. Know your what. Mm. You understand? And demand your pay. Mm. You understand? So that's what I would tell myself, you know. That's interesting to note. We'll go straight to the bonus question. Amunachi, you have to answer this one Hope fast. nothing about marriage. I know. Why? Everybody yeah, asking me. Look, 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 look. My auntie called you, me this morning asking me about marriage. You see, you see the problem? <laughs> I did not ask any question. Guilty conscience. I, there was no question about marriage here. <laughs> you see? You see? You see? So, uh, you are the one telling yourself what to do. No, I'm no, not, no I'm, I, I don't want to, I don't I, want to put that out no, there. No, 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 no. See, this is going to go, it's going to go on this show. Right? You are the one, you are the one that I did not ask you I did not say anything about it. I was just on my own. You have no, you're not going to ask me to. I'm not asking you. Yeah, fine. Let's leave it there. I'm not asking you. <laughs> yeah. But now you know what you're supposed to do. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. You know what you're supposed to do. <laughs> you know what you're supposed to do. Now you're, you're let's telling yourself. Okay, well, let's, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Well, so bonus question. Bonus question. I have several bonus questions, yeah? And um, let's start with number one. One Nigerian CEO that is easily associated with this color, red color. Who is it? Hmm. Red, 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 red. Dun, da, da, da. Uh, 0.1 Bitcoin, <laughs> 0.2 Bitcoin, 0.3 Bitcoin, uh, 0.4 Bitcoin. To be honest, I don't... Uh, Nigerian CEO, red? The answer is the picture, Tony Lumiere. Hey, Tony Lumiere! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. 0.5 BTC. Ah, yes, 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 yes. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay, let me ask this one too. If you had a samurai sword as an entrepreneur in Nigeria, cut out one single business challenge, which would it be? Uh, if you gave uh, you a sword to cut out one challenge in business that's killing entrepreneurs in Nigeria. Banking. You remove banking? No, like banking hurdles. Like okay. there's a lot of banking like irregularities you okay. know, that, and issues. Okay. Like, if you cannot find a seamless way of doing banking for, All right. for startups, yeah, it's going to be a lot of a okay. lot easier. Number three. This has nothing to do with marriage, but 
you have to pick one for the next 50 years. Access to the internet and no money. Or regular 30k monthly and no internet. Access to the internet? Really? Yeah. You don't want money? No, the internet is where I... F what, what's the 30k do with my life? Right? <laughs> Interesting. You know that? But I'm going to fulfill my, my brain. I'm mm. going to... It's going to be enriching to my soul. So, yeah. Mm. As long as I'm eating, I'm watching it, and I'm okay, happy. Okay, so minus 0 0.1 BTC. So, from <laughs> 0.5, is now 0 0.4. <laughs> if you were a wild and domestic animal each, what animals would you rather be? Me? Yeah. That's interesting. I think I will, I'll be a shark. Shark? Look, a domestic animal. Uh, wild and domestic, I'll anyone? I'll be a shark. <laughs> wild, shark. What about domestic? If I was going to be a domestic animal... Mm, I like this question. I think I'll be a cat. Ah, <laughs> why did you choose cats? <laughs> I don't Nine feel like, lives. I don't feel, I don't feel like cats are like... They are, they are just bosses. They, they just chill, relax. They're not in a hurry. <laughs> you know, they're, baby, they're the real baby girls of life. Interesting. <laughs> okay. I, li I like this question. Wild animal. Interesting. I'll be a lion, bro. Number th the next one. A day in your life with one changing pers with one life-changing personality. Who would it be? A day in my a life? A day in your life. Well, one, I yeah. I should pick someone that yeah. I should spend One life-changing personality you want that to spend a day of your life with. Ah, I, will, I think it's weird to say this, but I think I, I'm a little bit of a fan, uh, Elon Musk fanboy, so I think I, I want to be with him. <laughs> I like him a lot, you understand? I just like, I just like his, his radicalness, you understand? And the way he thinks, is so spontaneous. Interesting. And I think I, I just want to spend a day with him. Just to, Interesting. Yeah. And let's go for the last one. In the most correct order, pick the correct next activities in your life right now. In the most correct order, in the most correct order, this is pick sabotage. the correct <laughs> next activities in your life right now. A, get another citizenship. B, get married. C, have a child. D, build a new company. I repeat, A, let me repeat the question again. In the most correct order, pick the correct next activities in your life right now. Okay? Get another citizenship is A, B, get married, C, have a child, D, build a new company. I think it's A, B, C, D. Yeah. It's in that same format. Really? Yeah. Get another citizenship. Yeah. Get married. Yeah. Have a child. Yeah. Build a new company. So yeah. promise, you're, promising, you're promising marriage now. I'm not promising marriage. The good thing is you didn't tell me the time frame. <laughs> 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 so we're expecting something soon. By God's grace, man. Okay. Maybe get child can come before. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> You're not going to get give us baby mamas, please. <laughs> Last one, what's the worst place you visited in Nigeria? The worst place I've visited? Sorry, worst place you visited outside Nigeria? Hmm. It could be a city. It could be a country. It could be... <sighs> to be honest... There's no way I can answer this question. That <laughs> Everywhere is good. Like you've been going to be now nah, within Nigeria, uncle. Uh, I think I went to I went to Festac <laughs> last few weeks. I, I I grew up in Festac. Okay. Festac was just a shadow of itself, you know. And you know, Festac was when when I was younger, you know, Festac was like Lekki or mm. Ikoyi. Mm. It was like festival cities. It was fully metropolitan, you know, had the drainage systems, the roads were all tied, everything was working, the houses were beautiful. We were the first time I saw duplexes. Modern in Festac, city. You understand? I, uh, I went to Nazareth um, in Festac town, you understand? So it was at Third Avenue, this amazing place, you understand? I, and we, I used to come from Aboju, you know, just across, you understand? So it was like night and day. You know, but I went to Festac a few months, a few weeks ago, and... I was so disappointed, you know. Jeez. It just shows the lack of maintenance in the maintenance culture we have as a people, you know. And it's things that we need to work on and we need to get our leadership right, you know. Let's talk a bit of politics before we leave. <laughs> What's 2023 going to be like for you? Man. For Nigeria. I think 2023 is a deciding factor. Whether anybody likes it or not, anybody that's watching this video is likely going to have kids by mm. 2020, by the end of this next year. So whoever we are electing now, 
is who your children are going to be born into. Sure. Whether you like it or not, you agree with it or not, you understand. I don't know anybody. Well, most people in my in my within my Circle. my circles, I, I, like we are almost the same age mates. So I believe mm. that in eight years you should be married or have kids. You've God given us life. Yeah. What Nigeria do you want to be ra raise your child in? Mm. That's the question you should ask yourself. You know, mm. it's not so much about who you like, mm. who is this thing, uh, who is the is your tribe who is your tribe or whatever the yeah. case may be. And I'm not really coming out to support any candidate, but I think the, the we have one obvious person that I believe is is trying his best to really set the right type of example mm. for us as youth, you understand? And whether we like it or not, our leaders reflect who we are. True. Whether you like it or not. And this is very, very important. The leader, you know, the leader of anything is not there to fix issues. That's one problem that people listen. Mm. As you are the CEO of Daba, you understand? Your work is not necessary to solve all the problems. Mm. Your work is to manage people that will solve that problem. Mm. So because of you are managing people that are going to solve a problem, you have to be of the right character. You need to inspire, mm. you understand, as a leader. Because you need to inspire people that are going to inspire other people. Mm. You understand? And we, as a people, we can't compromise on that, at least at this point in our, True. In our democracy. True. We can't really compromise on who is of the right character, who has the right level of competence. And these things are very, very important. You know, Nigeria is basically, every company, every country is, an, is literally a company. True. Whether you like it or not, True. it's the same thing. True. There's no difference between a company... The president is the CEO. That's true. You understand? The same structures that, ha that you have in your company, the same structures that the, gov the government have, you understand? True. You know, the government is creating value and retaining value, which is tax. The government is 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 producing, which is the foreign exports. You understand? The government has a bank account, which is its foreign uh, its treasury. You understand? You understand? The government the government has a, the the government has um, an IOU, which is its bonds, which is which a company also has. You mm -hmm. understand? And the, the government the company needs to create value, and people need to perceive that value, okay. perceive value, Revenue. which is the currency. Yeah. Yeah. You understand? So as as a people, if you were building a company, and the answer to this, to our leadership problem is very simple. It's except you were to be a hypocrite. Mm. You know? If you are going to put somebody, if you had the ultimate power, and you built a company, you understand? And you were supposed to hand down to somebody. Who would you hand down to? That's true. If you can, if you can confidently, anybody that your conscience tells you that you can hand on to, hand over to, is the right person, and you are okay, and it's okay if you really believe that, you understand, yeah. and that's fine. Whoever you believe is the right person to receive the mantle after you leave among the candidates that we have, then it's fine. As long as you vote your conscience, you vote your heart, and you vote the right. This time, I have to start telling people that. As they vote their conscience, they should also vote wisely. <laughs> yes, you understand? Because it's quite easy to know, yeah, you understand? If true. you think about it, That's true. you understand? That's true. And there's no need... For, you don't need to convince anybody. That's if true. everybody knows what is at stake, you That's don't need true. to convince anybody. That's anybody true. Whoever you think is the right person, then it's fine. At the end of the day, we're in democracy. The one with the larger multitude, the people, the person that we believe has the most votes. votes. Yeah. You understand? And that's been an interesting session with Munachi. We've discussed business, we've discussed entrepreneurship lessons, we've avoided marriage talks, <laughs> and um, very important. <laughs> <laughs> and here we are today. And thank you all for watching Daba TV. Remember to visit One Liquidity. It's there showing on your screen. You want to get started with us? Uh, visit OneLiquidity.com. Remember to use our promo code Daba studios till i come your way next time keep succeeding keep changing lives keep adding value and keep watching daba tv don't forget to tell a friend to tell another friend see you next time bye guys
Hi guys, I am Uzo Amaka Onoha, and I'm here to tell you that everything crypto happens on OBX. Trade, send, receive crypto easily on OBX. Bye guys.